to my channel, Coin Lady, and thank you for returning. We will discuss XR, PE, and I will also mention a few other current events. Huge, genuine commitment to XRP in boom and bear markets. They claim that XRP will always have the support of bearer bull. The position that Prutru is adopting is admirable. These days, it seems like most conversations go in this route. They anticipate a tremendous surge in XRP's value. And then there's this pronouncement that came out of spokes in November 2020, effective June 2024, regulation of crypto staking 2020 for passive income, or the UCC legislative revisions that other states will follow, will give a perfect regulatory guide to lenders on cryptocurrencies utilizing crypto as collateral. Oklahoma is one of those states. What I appreciate best about this is that I'm patiently waiting for the bank to announce that they will accept cryptocurrency as collateral. They would take one glance at my bank account and say, man, you ain't got shit in your bank account, if I went to the bank right this second to ask for a loan, however, they would insist that I take a seat provided I produced my cryptocurrency wallet. While I wait for that day to come, how can we be of service to you? As a general rule, crypto investors do not have any cash on hand. All of their wealth is held in cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency trading and smoke also contribute to this. As the cryptocurrency industry develops, the role of market institutions is anticipated to grow. Coinciding with the flood of institutional investors' funds into the crypto markets will be the advent of institutional-grade crypto tech. Platforms and items are visible to you. Retail investors are the primary target of the crypto trading sector. After the FTX, ordinary investors' confidence restored, and the number of crypto trades surged dramatically. As a result, institutional investors are in need of a trading platform that is tailored to their specific requirements. Due to the sex approval of Bitcoin ETFs, crypto has become more mainstream, and institutions are likely to take a more active part in developing their crypto market in the future. Mass adoption will follow once the institutions arrive. Regulations will bring about such change. Great things are on the horizon as a result of that. According to a prominent contributor for Forbes, there will be a huge increase in the price of XRP before the Biden-Trump debate. The debate has already taken place while I am filming this video. Bitcoin and XRP did not experience a significant surge. You know, I often remind people that predictions are just that, predictions. Something major is supposed to happen on this day every year, you know. That day passes without any significant events taking place. Why do you ask? Simply put, starting from this very moment, no one can predict the future of the cryptocurrency market. Get this US debt clock here. Federal Reserve Note This is both a stock and a bond. With just one federal dollar, you can fund a banquet savings account, accrue interest, and participate in a Ponzi scam. With bated breath, I await the treasury money. When it finally arrives, I predict it will be spectacular. However, hyperinflation will persist with the present US dollar until then. Even tomorrow's events are a mystery to us. A huge bubble in commercial real estate might burst, that's for sure. The housing market could be experiencing a bubble burst. They were lately acquired by another bank. The return of bank runs is also possible. When it comes to the US dollar, no one can predict the future. Our huge debt has put everything on precarious foundation. No CBDC retail until then. A medium twist cone would be my choice, as the debt clock has once again been locked out. We regret that cash cannot be accepted at this time. I understand. On my phone, I will be furious with you. My apologies, madam. Nevertheless, we will not be able to fulfill your upcoming purchases. It's not feasible. I'm confident my account has lots of funds, yet there's a special code 186. Some error must have occurred. 
Absolutely not. This effectively bans you from purchasing any product that is either sustainable or pleasurable. Well, looks like crypto loading and silver stacking are out the window. You should realize that they have no interest in you using CBDC to purchase cryptocurrency in the future. However, you will already be wealthy if you possess cryptocurrency. To me, that sounds like the makings of a CBDC. Additionally, I appreciate that the debt clock also dresses in CBDC. Completely, I do not like CBDC. To be honest, I'd prefer to see them use XRP to improve the present financial system. Due to Monica Long's recent comments regarding an XRP ETF, the XRP ETFs are once again in the spotlight. We anticipate this to be the case. As Nine pointed out, ETFs serve just as a diversion to offer people phony Bitcoin and other such products. Rob Kiyosaki asserts, then why would I want to stock up on Bitcoin? Index funds. The question is, would I purchase them? No. I don't see why not. The same logic behind why I stay away from silver and gold ETFs, is it true that exchange-traded funds, ETFs, are a sham for Bitcoin, silver, or gold? One ounce of gold, for instance, can be sold a hundred times over by a single gold ETF. That is the whole point that I have been trying to make with you. It never made sense to me to purchase an ETF when one could simply purchase XRP. Until BlackRock tokenizes Bitcoin ETFs and the DTCC notes that there have been changes to DTC collateral haircuts, no investment vehicle that uses Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency as an underlining investment will be given collateral value. Therefore, we will be exposed to a complete haircut, rendering it practically useless. Plus, businesses who are unable to use these ETFs as collateral for loans. Their interest in them will eventually wane. Whatever is on a company's balance sheet should be able to be leveraged. Plus, I've maintained that position throughout, despite claims to the contrary, I do not believe that the XRP TF is urgently needed to boost the price of XRP. Instead, the thing that will cause XRP's price to rise is its utility. XRP's role as a temporary storage medium, online assault the Better Business Bureau of the United States of America was one of the targets of a cyber assault. An assault on the Federal Reserve System was recently discovered. More cyber attacks are on the horizon according to the Better Business Bureau, since it is also part of their strategy. The yearly stress test conducted by the Federal Reserve was passed by all of the largest US banks. Is that the stuff you're believing? Shall we rephrase it? Even JP Morgan is skeptical. According to the Fed, all 31 large US banks were able to pass her stress test. Yeah, according to JP Morgan, that can't be real. Additionally, I concur with JP Morgan. The banks are in trouble, and we know it. People are no longer willing to put their money in banks, because of the troubles we've witnessed with them. As an alternative to traditional banking, they are investing in cash apps. And it is the main issue. This is the same rationale behind Janet Yellen's repeated assurances that depositing money in banks is risk-free because of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation UFDIC, guarantee. However, we have observed the FDIC's discussion on bay lands. You can be sure it's on its way if people are talking about it. The world has lost touch with Janet Yellen. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I'll see you later.